What's going on everybody? Adam here with Southern Backwood Adventures. And yes, please like and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, but we are back. It has been a few weeks. It has been crazy for the past few weeks. Christmas, the rain, um, trying to work, trying to survive with all this stuff happening around. Um, it, it's, it's been putting it hard on everybody, man. But we're hanging in there. But this video, we're not doing no magnet fishing. We are going to go trapping. Deer season was terrible. I couldn't film anything. Um, you know, it, I shot one deer stalking to go change my memory card on my corn pile. And there was a deer. I got halfway down the truck. I could see a deer from a distance. So I had my son bring down my gun to me because our, our property is right down, literally like just a few hundred feet down. And um, uh, I actually put a shot on them, put them down on top of the corn, but that's it, man. Um, but give me a minute, let me talk to everybody about something. So, viewer discretion is advised on this video. Uh, well, we're going to be doing some coon, coyote, fox, uh, just you know, going various places. I like to show you this area that we're deer hunting in. I've had so many coons up here, uh, up in another area, which is about 40 minutes down the road. Uh, a friend of mine sent me a picture of his corn pile. And he has 18 raccoons on there. I plan on taking some of them out. Why do we have to do that for? Because one, man has stepped in, screwed everything up over the years, causing overpopulation. Uh, there's disease out outbreak with these critters, um, any animal like that, uh, possum, raccoons. The coyotes are out, uh, you know, just outrageous. What you don't see is because they're out at night. They're out at nighttime. You don't ever see them. You see dead raccoons on the side of the road when you're driving down the highway. You see dead deer. You know, it's the same thing, man. I mean, you can't, you cannot just sit back and let them take control of everything because if you do, then you're going to have issues later down the road, you know. But that's why we do it. One biggest reason is because God has told us to. Um, but man, let me show you this. This is our uh, traps. I actually dyed them, uh, put a logwood dye in them, uh, but I left it outside. Of course, they rusted back up, but we got some leg traps. Uh, these are dog proof traps. Let me show you how these things right here work. Uh, we're gonna use the bulletproof earth anchors as well. Uh, and we're also doing some road trapping also. Um, uh, it's gonna be kind of cool. But hang in there. Let's get the trapping. Welcome to Southern Backwood Adventures, and we'll see you in the woods. We are on our way up to this location that's about 40 minutes away from the house, but uh, it's pretty outside, man. I, I'm excited about doing this, but uh, let's, uh, let's roll on that way. So I finally made it out here and uh, it feels great out here. I mean, it's like 45 degrees maybe, something like that. A little bit of a breeze in there. Let me show you what we have. Um, this right here is like 80 acres of cut down, which was nothing but woods at one time. Uh, about a month before gun season started in mid-October, uh, so back in September they decided to log the land, including there's a little 10 acre cut down over there. That's where we're going to put uh, a few of our traps at and maybe a couple over here. But over there is the smell of hogs. As in a corporation with Smithfield's um, process and plant where they raise hogs and ship them out to the slaughterhouses. But we're going to go ahead and get started. So I got everything in my, uh, my bucket here. Sifter, my sheet's wool, I got my hammer. They actually have a trapper's hammer, but um, I use this old one, it's similar, you know, but it works, what it's for. Got my drill, my drill bit, dig the hole out. Uh, uh, it's fish oil, got all my scents. Um, so, of course, got the bucket and everything carried. Now, I like using 
I get these at Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, uh, yeah. Evidently, I love the cream gravy mix, but um, I actually take my dog food. You know, I just get cheap bag of dog food and pour in there. Uh, these are watertight, they're sellable, they don't get wet. So if you're in a rain checking traps or whatever, they don't get all wet and everything. And then for the pan covers for the traps, we'll show you that. This is just basic wax paper. It's cheap. It's doable. It works. And just cut it up little, you know, four inch by four inch squares. Um, maybe a little bit bigger. Two dollars a dollar journal. I'm gonna go ahead and drive this in the ground. All right. All right. Now, what that does, when you pull up on it. Put some nice secure lock on it. All right, to set this thing, very simple. All we do is you got a setter, you can actually squeeze it with your hand like this, trigger goes on top. So you put the, the uh, setters in here, put that in there like that, squeeze this right here back like so. And you pull it this way, pull that out, and then there. Now, all you have to do is stick that in the ground like so. Take a little dog food. Pour in there, just right there above the trigger. That's all you need. Take you some fish oil. Don't put it on your food, put it around your trap, like so. Now to catch her attention. And that's it, that's all there is to it. So I got this trap right here, so I got another one down here um, at the very end. I used a grass pad, it's like a backing, so it'll kind of come around. Uh, coons are curious anyway, so they smell that fish oil. Um, but what I like to do too to make sure I keep eye on my traps. So let's say one day you come and you want to make sure you pinpoint them out before you looking hard for them. Because I like to take a tree and I'll I'll take a, my knife or you can take some kind of ribbon, however you want it. But this right here is, you know, nobody else can see it. They won't really know what it is. So I just kind of shave it off. That way I know what I'm looking for is a shaved part of the tree. However you want to do it. Everybody's got their own ways, but that's how I. I like doing it. This is um this is a cell link by spy point and they've got the cameras where you can have already built into but um, this one right here has a card a SD card that goes into the bottom and I love it. Um, problem is is squirrels birds pass by it goes off but it links in uh, to a Verizon network and then when it does it sends a text message to my service which my service is boost mobile and i think you get like seven day free trial period and then you can do like so many pictures a month only uh, when you only get charged when you use it but uh i think it's like 15 bucks unlimited pictures you're going to need it though if you got birds and squirrels like i do to constantly make the things go off but if it if a coon's on here tonight i'm gonna know and uh that's gonna be kind of cool to see them caught in the act so hopefully we're getting them on camera tonight. So it's the next morning and I am almost to the trap line and they're calling for rain this afternoon so I'm coming first thing in the morning to check my traps. I do however have a uh, uh, coon on my other location back at the house. Um, I'll, I'll show you that guys that in a second. Uh, let's get down here and park the truck and get ready. So I got the uh, app on my phone. It's uh, Spy Point. Open over there up. And so first thing this morning, about about 4:30, and I see that guy right there. And obviously it triggers every time there's a motion on it. So I got a really good picture of him. But he's right there. 8.30 in the morning, there he is, see he's got his leg, 
So this is a great tool to have. Uh, so if you don't want to have to keep dry, uh, walking in there or driving somewhere to go check your cameras, um, I can zoom in a little bit. Where's he at? He's in there somewhere. He's got his legs right there. Uh, but yeah, it's a great little tool, spy point. I'll put the link in the description below. There we go. He's mad. Look at him. That cat circle. So I was going to take out um, this guy right here, but uh, come around his backside and look at this. Let me show you something. Something tried to attack him. So I'm just going to let him go. He's not severely hurt to where he's suffering or anything. He's just got a big wound and I don't want to have to deal with that. So I got the catch pole. I'm going to grab him. I'm going to let him go and then we'll come back tomorrow and see what we got here. There he goes. <sighs> He's a big old king. You run it off. Take your set tool, put it inside there, on top of that bar there, and then squeeze this right here forward. Oh, come on, make it a slide, hold on there. Okay. And then pull your trigger back. Sometimes if, this, if it's wet, muddy, and all that, it's gonna slip off that. So, a king. You can put these in a hair trigger if you want to. Some people like to file them down, I don't. I'm gonna take this right here. Put it facing towards the woods. Go ahead. Some dog food in there. Sprinkle some around it a little bit. And then take the fish oil. And then curiosity. All right, so we're good to go for tomorrow. Let's go back to the house and check the ones there by the house. I know there's one there. Now look what we got here. Big old king. Look at him. The camera. Bad looking thing. Big old cat circle. Oh, look at him. Boy, he is mad. He is mad. See how mad he is? Watch this. <laughs> Get my cable back. Look at this. <laughs> Try to get a shot on him. All right, he's dispatched. Um, unfortunately, he went all crazy, blood everywhere. I need to get a pellet gun. Um, but we're gonna take him back to the house and get him cleaned up. All right, so I actually finished taking the fur off. Um, there's the coon right there. I'm gonna place that buys them whole. Oh, I have to leave a leg on, uh, but I actually eat them too. They're pretty good. But here's the fur. It's a nice, pretty reddish. It looks like a red fox or a gray fox color. Uh, nice, nice fur. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up, and I'll uh, get back to you. Well. We got something in one of our traps, guys. We got a possum. There we go. All right, be free. That's how. We got to pick these guys up by their tail. He was uh, he's ready to go. 
all's okay. Be free, little fella. All right, let's get this trap set back up. And that's the only thing. When it rains, the trap is possible. You won't believe this. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, and I got a pack of dogs tearing apart one of my coons. Get! Get! On freaking real. I got a possum right here in the first trap. The dogs didn't touch that. They decided they wanted to get a hold of this. I can't even tell what it is right now. It's a coon. A big coon. And these dogs just come in and ripped it apart. Unreal. Here we are checking the, the third trap. And we got ourselves another possum. So letting the possum out is pretty easy. Usually look the other way because I'm not dead. Just push the there and pick them up. I could have had a mess with a possum, huh? Oh, be free, little fella. Here he goes. He ain't hurt or anything. He's going. See you later. Uh, let this guy right here go. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like that. No. He's acting. He looks a little mad. But every possum today, and I know I got one in the house, every one of them about the same size. Be free, little fella. Go. Go. Oh, okay. All right. Let's get this set back up, and I'm going to pull this trap right here where this coon got killed at and set it up down the trail. Yeah, we got another possum, so that makes what four possums today. And um, I'll touch that trap there. And look how white he is. Oh, he's mad. Look at him. You want to see how cool this guy looks? He ain't happy. He's ugly and cute. Reminds me of a ex-girlfriend. Anyway. All right, so I've got the raccoon meat right here and it's been bleeding out for about, uh, probably about three or four days maybe in the fridge. I check this right here out. So, quartered it out. And uh, it's pretty big hams on that and shoulders. Um, what we'll do is trim off some of this fat here. And then we're going to be making raccoon jerky. I don't think I've ever seen anybody make it before, um, but the season pack we're going to be using is this uh, high mountain seasoning jerky here. And this actually came from Cabela's. But uh, we're going to get this fat trimmed off of here and get this all mixed up and get it in the uh, dehydrator.
the jerky is done. Man, it smells really good. Check this out. So, got one, two, three trays. And guess who is here to try a piece? Dakota himself. You guys know him from Magnificent. So, what we're going to do is... Um, try a piece. I'm going to let him try a piece first. He's going to be the guinea pig. So, alright. Tough. Of course, it's jerky. What do you expect? Be like Slim Jims? Yeah. <laughs> How's it taste? Kind of dry, but it tastes really good and juicy. It's kind of dry. How can it be dry <laughs> and juicy at the same time? I don't know. Just, that's a stupid answer. No, nah, but how is it overall flavor wise, it's pretty good. It's mesquite. It's like beef. Yeah, it does. Like cow. All right, okay. So now it's my turn. All right. So evidently, I noticed that um, if you look on some of the pieces, like, like right there, there's like little pieces of fat. Uh, that's okay. That kind of makes it moisten a little bit, I guess. But you don't want to like leave a lot of excess uh, fat on there. So, all right. So here I go. First time, raccoon jerky. Look at that. I kid you not. It's pretty daggone good. It just tastes just like like steak. That's where it tastes like steak. They always said that raccoon tastes like uh, beef, like like um, stew beef or steak or whatever. And they're not kidding. There's other recipes, guys. Crock pot, uh, potatoes, onions, and carrots. Uh, I've done that before. Simmer like all day long on my world. And I actually got another video that I made on that last year or the year before last. It was great. But man, I'm telling you, don't put it down until you try it for yourself. You can't say you don't like it. You can't say no until you try it for yourself. Also guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, share our videos, follow us on Facebook. That would be great. And most importantly, don't forget, there's an adventure that waits for you.